Can I say your middle name? Is that okay? Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> Charlotte Elizabeth Warren, <laughs> welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, we have uh, drawing pads because we're going to draw again because somebody didn't bring fishing poles. I couldn't find any. <laughs> well, I can um, find the right ones. Yeah, so we have assorted random stuff and also colored pencils that mom bought for Jude many moons ago and um, he rarely uses now, but whatever. Um, so you are between houses at the moment. Yes. How, how does that work? Tell me the whole story. So a couple years ago, my parents, they started wanting to like move to more land, move kind of like out of civilization. So they spent a long time looking for land and then this piece of land came up, but it was like way too many acres for us on our own. So a bunch of families decided they were all gonna buy it like together and then split it up mm. and build houses on it. So we, yeah, we bought into that land. We have like 30 acres, 27, something like that. Dang. And yeah, so we sold our house. It sold in, I think it was November. Yeah, we moved out officially in November mm. or December. And we're living with my grandparents on the lake right now, which is fun. Groovy. While they build our house. They're going actually today to like stake it out. Like they cleared where it's gonna be because they had to clear all the trees and stuff. And then they're going today to like stake out where the house is gonna be. How long is it gonna take to build? Uh, they're not really sure. They keep saying like, oh, by Christmas. So maybe Christmas, but mm. I'm not that hopeful. <laughs> but I'm also leaving. So. Yeah. Isn't it going to be weird for you to come back to a new house? It's going to be really weird, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Because um. we lived in that house for 15 years. Dang. So. We moved once when I was 11 up here. And, I mean, up here is way better than Swainsboro, Georgia. <laughs> um, but it was still, like, I, I went to scout camp. And I, I left from my old house with everything there, like very little was packed up. And then my dad picked me up from scout camp and we went to a new house <laughs> where everything so is in boxes. Yeah. So you have a lot of siblings, mm -hmm. relatively. Six. Yes. Um, what, how do you think that's affect your, your psychology growing up? Well, I think I'm a lot more comfortable around little kids. Like. Mm. It, I've always been around little kids because our school's pre-K through 12, so, like, everybody's around little kids all the time. Mm -hmm. And it kind of didn't hit me that, like, some people aren't comfortable around little kids till like, later in life. Yeah, that's weird. I just assumed that everybody enjoyed children and enjoyed being around them mm -hmm. and was around them. Mm -hmm. It was kind of, like, interesting to realize that some people, like, actually don't see kids that often. Yeah, that is weird. weird. Yeah. To me. I have a lot of cousins, so I have the same thing. Like, my mom is the oldest in our family, so there's just a bunch of babies that I always hang out with. Yeah. So, yeah, the idea that some people are just like, ugh, babies, it's just yeah, like, I don't Dude, understand it. They're adorable. Why? Yeah. I don't get it. Um, so, you mentioned your school, St. John Bosco Academy. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> T tell me a little bit about that. Give, give me an elevator pitch for Bosco. All right. It's a hybrid school. So we go to school um, two or three days a week and we homeschool the other days. Mm -hmm. And it's Catholic, so it's founded on truth, goodness, and beauty. I love this shirt. This is my true, good, and beautiful shirt. Um, awesome. Because it says truth, beauty, and goodness on it. And, yeah, it's basically focused on, like, forming the whole person instead of just the academic side. We use like classical education so we wear uniforms we study like seven liberal arts and the four sciences mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah and both your parents were involved now yes. one of your parents is involved um your mom is a very big part of the the yeah. administration <laughs> and the just the whole yeah. school how, how do you think that's affected you and like your responsibility as a student at bosco um they definitely tell us we're like in charge of like kind of like the culture and like how we follow rules as like admin kids and how we like act kind of reflects on like kind of like whether or not they're doing a good job mm -hmm. because if we're not acting like that nobody else is going to act like that mm -hmm. which like is kind of annoying because like people should just follow the rules because they're rules not like because you're doing them yeah but it kind of like it makes sense i guess 
uh, have you read um i don't know if this is part of the the curriculum but there's there's a play called antigone do you yeah. know did you have you read it yes in freshman year so a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> wow um i read that for for founders at wcc and um there it brought posed questions of um whether you should obey unjust laws or laws yeah. that violate moral laws. Um, do you think there are any laws at Bosco that are unjust? <laughs> um, not really. Like, some things, it's not like they don't have a purpose, but it's, like, not always easy to see the purpose. Mm. Like, they really get onto us, but, like, if our knee socks aren't pulled up to our knees, which, like, we should follow because they're telling us to do it, but, like, you're not going to hell if your knees are put on, you know? <laughs> yeah, so it's, yeah, it's yeah. not like they're unjust. It's just, like, sometimes, like, their immediate value and, like, the goal they're trying to get at isn't, like, apparent. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of, like, hard, mm. you know? You're, you're a senior now. Yes. And you've... How long have you been in Bosco? I joined the second half of first grade. Wow. So, like, 20... What was it? 2010? No, no, no. 2011. Mm -hmm. Like, January. Mm -hmm. Halfway through the year. Dang. So, it's been 12 years? Yes. All the years. Of Bosco. <laughs> um, how do you think, like, your class and and the the connections and relationships have changed now that, like, you're concluding? Like, how has it changed this year? It's definitely been a lot different because I feel like we've all wanted to hang out together. Not that we like didn't in the past, but it just felt like a lot of people to always hang out because we have 38 people in our class, 39, mm -hmm. 38, 38. And, um, but this year it's felt like we all actually like want to be together. Mm -hmm. We've done, like we went on a mission trip all together and we just, I don't know, just every time we hang out, it's like we, there's no one that you like don't want to be there mm -hmm. if that makes sense what what was that like because because i i saw some of the mission trip from last year's seniors what, what was the mission trip like this year it was so cool we went to walls mississippi which Ooh, is like walls w-a-l-l-s w -A -L -L -S. <laughs> uh-huh and which is like right near memphis tennessee but like in mississippi mm -hmm. and we split into three teams and then we each had like a different project so like my group um, like took apart a floor of a trailer and then rebuilt it. Interesting. And then one group like fixed a roof and one group built a ramp. Mm -hmm. And so we all like worked together because like none of us really know anything about construction. <laughs> like there's uh -huh. a couple people that do, but like for the most part, nobody does. Evan, Evan's done some some building. I wasn't stuff. with Evan. Oh. I was well. Jack Brooks. Do you know Jack Brooks? Yeah. Yeah. He um, was on ours and he was like in charge. And then we had like some foreman with us. So like Austin's dad is a foreman, and so is um, Kathleen's dad. So like they came and kind of like helped because they actually like knew what they were doing. Which mm -hmm. was but is one of their names Norman? No. That, that's a their shame. names are Roger and Ken. Roger and Ken. That's such dad names. Yeah. Like imagine name. Imagine seeing I your can't. your I son can't. and going, "This is this is my <laughs> this son is Ken. Roger. <laughs> this is Roger." Uh, yeah. I don't know. So yeah, and it was just really cool because the lady we were helping, her name was Miss Teresa, and she just. Her house was just like falling apart, but then when we started like fixing the floor, she could see that it was like gonna get better. She started like cleaning up herself and like kind of like throwing things out and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, which was just cool to see that like she actually like cared because yeah. we were there. Yeah. And she keeps calling Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> just <Why>? to talk. <laughs> she has not called me, even though I gave her my number, but it's okay. That's a shame. Is she fun to talk to? She is fun to talk to. She's like a preschool teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and she always repeats herself, but she's like so genuinely excited that like you want to hear her stories. <laughs> it's so sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, who do you think your relationship to has changed the most over the high school, over between freshman and senior year? Like which person in my class? Yeah. That is so hard because literally all of them. Like that's true. Yeah. I look back. <laughs> Okay, no, my answer is Sevi. Sevi and I, you have a bug in your hair. Okay. Sevi and I are like actually Thank friends you. now. And when he came, he came our sophomore year. I like did not like him. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. We just had this weird thing where we just like weren't really friends. And even though like all our friends were friends and we like hung out all the time, like for some reason we just could not, not like we didn't get along, but for some reason we just 
I don't know, we were just like never friends. And I feel like this year we've actually like become friends, which I've really enjoyed because like he's a cool person and I like talking to him. Mm -hmm. Groovy. Um, what, what do you think is the weirdest, like, Okay, when framing questions, I have to do like a sort of circle back. <laughs> so I'm gonna start in, at a place that makes okay. no sense and okay. then circle back. Go for it. So um, in Avengers Infinity War, yep. um, during the making of it, the Russo brothers had this thing called Strange Alchemy where they put two characters together that make really no sense together and then just mm -hmm. see what happens. Yeah. Um, is, is there a character, a person in your class like that, that you've, that um. like, Freshman year, you would be like, I would, aside from Savvy, I would never see myself being friends with them or hanging out with them. I don't know. Who else in my class? <laughs> <laughs> or just anyone at Bosco, honestly. Um, honestly, like, kind of Malachi. Mm. I can't, like, freshman year, he, I feel like he was just, like, invisible. Like, I literally just, like, don't remember him really? being there freshman year. Uh -huh. Like, I remember him, like, yelling a couple times at, like, the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> which, like, he does. But, I don't know. I just, like, he was just so different than he is now that I feel like, I just can't imagine us being friends back mm -hmm. then. For whatever reason. But we're very good friends now, so. Awesome. Right down. I, my first memory of Malachi wasn't him. It was um, the, my first day at Bosco, everybody being like, where's Malachi? Why isn't Malachi here? <laughs> Malachi's great. You should meet Malachi. Yeah. He's great. Love him. He's pretty cool. He's playing Tevya in Fiddler on the Roof, which is like the main character. Oh. He has so many freaking lines. It's insane. I don't know how he like knows what to do all the time. <laughs> Because I have, like, significantly less lines than him, and I'm struggling. But he's doing a great job. What character do you play? I'm Seidel. Seidel. It's about... I, I have no idea what Fiddler on the Roof is. Yeah, you're good. It's about this Jewish guy. I know it's Tevye. about Jews. They live in Russia. I'm not uh -huh. sure what year. 1800s, 1900s, something there. And he has five daughters who are all, like, getting to be of marrying age. Mm. So Seidel's okay. the oldest one. And the tradition is for, like, the matchmaker to tell them who to marry... And then basically they just marry, like arrange marriages is basically the system. And so when Seidel gets to be like ready to be engaged, she wants to marry her childhood best friend. Mm -hmm. And so they like tell, ask Tevye to be married instead of like him telling them, which is kind of like crazy. And then the next daughter named Huddle, who's Sophia Smith, um, decides she isn't asking to be married. She's telling him that she's getting married. And it's like still to a Jewish guy, but then she ends up having to leave because he's like a revolutionary and gets arrested in Siberia. Mm, hey, when that happens. And then the third daughter named Hava, who's played by Penny, um, she she um, decides to marry a Christian, which is <gasps> like a big no-no. Uh huh. And the, that's Jack Brooks is the Christian. Of course. And um, <laughs> so yeah, then she her father ends up disowning her and she has to leave. And there's this really dramatic scene where she's like. And he's like, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> that we still have to work on. <laughs> but, uh -huh. but yeah, that's basically the whole story. And then, oh, and then all the Jews end up getting evicted from their homes by the Russians. Spoilers. I'm sorry. You can go ahead. That's what happens. Uh -huh. um, they end up getting evicted by the Russians because they don't want them there. So they have to like pack up and leave their home that they lived in like their whole life. Dang. And then it just ends really sad and they're all like leaving. So it's a tragedy? I guess, technically. Mm. Except nobody dies. Well, nobody has to die for it to be a tragedy. Somebody can die to themselves. No, I, it ha somebody has to die for it to be a tragedy. Not according to Louise Cowan's definition of a tragedy in The Tragic Abyss. Well, Shakespeare's tragedy is somebody has to die. It's name a Shakespeare tragedy where somebody doesn't die. Well, I'm not talking about Shakespearean tragedies because Fiddler on the Roof is not a Shakespeare play. That's true. So I don't know. I think death... You don't really understand tragedy until until death. still death. Yeah. Interesting. Do you do you have you experienced? <laughs> this is a tree. Epic. You just started 
and just like had a, <laughs> I, I, I drew a guy <laughs> holding a coconut. It's not a coconut. And a scientifically accurate black hole that basically looks like an eye. All right, next page. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna cordon this off and start over. Um, have you experienced death in a way that makes you understand what a tragedy is? No. I, I've never really known anyone like super close to me that's died, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I've had like great grandparents that have died and like friends of older people, but I've never really know, like known someone personally. Mm -hmm. I've had really okay grandparents that have died. Um, and that's, and great grandparents who have died, but one great grandparent. Yeah. But that's it, yeah. So not really. Well, then neither of us are educated in the tragedy. Darn. I hate it when that happens. Um, did you ever watch the children's TV show on Amazon Prime Video by the title of Gordimer Gibbons' Life on Normal Street? I did not. Um, have you ever heard of that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a really good show. Um, do you know who Brett Cooper is no. from The Daily Wire? I know what The Daily Wire is. Oh, well, she's, she works at The Daily Wire. Um, but she was in an episode of Gordon McGibbon's Life on Normal Street. Um, but it also, there was an episode where this girl named Mel, who's, a main, who's one of the, mm -hmm. the trio, um, her mom dies. Yeah. And the whole episode is about like grief and dealing with it. And it's remarkably deep for a, for a really? children's yeah, show. Um, and of course, future Mel travels back in time um, right. to of course. try and uh, stop former Mel from spending her whole life trying to travel back and stopping her mom's death. Um, but yeah, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. And it also, have you ever watched Lost? No, my parents keep telling me I need to watch it. But you I need haven't. to watch it. I, I got, it's, it's really tiring by the end, the tropes that you realize, because yeah. every time, like there's so much, so many mysteries and any time a character is like, what's this? The other people are like, I can't tell you because I'm trying to save you. Oh, no, yeah, that, that gets annoying after yeah. a while. After six seasons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that show seems really long. I hear the end is weird. I, uh, I don't know. I haven't gotten to that part yet. Mm. Do you have any favorite shows aside from Julie and the Phantoms? Um, I just finished watching Outer Banks, ah. all three seasons, and I actually liked it way more than I thought I was going to. The first time really? I watched it, I hated it. I watched like half the first season, and I was just like, no thank you. Mm -hmm. But I actually really enjoyed it. Even the third season? Yeah. Hmm. Did you not enjoy the third season? Yeah. Um, I don't... Okay, I hate John B.'s dad. I mean, I, I ended it after so episode much. two. I was like, um, I'm, I'm bored. Really? Yeah. No, I don't like Big John. But the rest of it I like. Word. What about um? What about artists? Who who are your your top artists? I'm not gonna lie. Since March, I've listened to like only Joshua Bassett. <laughs> 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 like until like two weeks ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So for whatever reason, I just turned into a huge fan all of a sudden. You're you're one I'm, of those people I'm who just fan. like find one artist yes. and they just. I know all of his songs now. I really like Smoke Slow. Smoke Slow is really good. That's a good one, yes. And the whole Set Me Free EP is really good. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yeah. He was in Atlanta, and I was like, oh, I should like see if he's coming to Atlanta. And the day I looked it up, it was like the day he was coming. So it was too late. Yeah. But. Um, Jude and I have become super interested in, in the artist NF. Um, oh, oh, yeah. He, he's, a, he's a Christian rapper, but like we love him. And he's he's playing in Atlanta in July, um, so I, it would have been the time where I leave for Wyoming. But, but. <laughs> um, so I'll probably surprise him with tickets and then oh, go see fun. it with him. Yeah, August really likes it enough. <laughs> really? Yeah, we don't really listen to him though. We when we get in the car, we do what we call aux, right? Because the aux cord. Yes. And basically, we go in age order, and every person gets to pick a song. Smart. And then whoever's in the passenger seat just like looks them up on YouTube and we listen to them. But the song has to be under five minutes and it can't be rap. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that so. makes sense for a... We for, listen to rap on the way to like soccer games, but that's mm. about it. Get hyped up. That's, yeah, that's hyped up. 
amazing. Do you do soccer? I do. We just finished our season. Awesome. Were you goalie again? No. I got to play in the field this year. Ooh. I was not very good. <laughs> but I did play. Uh-huh. We had our banquet last night. It was kind of fun. Banquet? Was that a super formal thing? Uh, I mean, like, we wore dresses, but not really. Mm. We ate barbecue, like, in the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. And all the parents came and stuff. Nice. If you could, If you could change something about the way Bosco is run, what would you do? Um... My mom and I have been talking about this, and we feel like we need more consistency, like, in the rules. Because, mm. like, people, girls recently have been wearing, like, Nike socks, and they got, like, really mad about it, but, like, just yesterday, even though people have been doing it for, like, months. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, if you, like, want to enforce that, like, that is completely fine, but you need to, like, enforce it all the time. Yeah. You know? I think that's really, like, the only thing. Mm. Pretty good otherwise. Nice. So, at... As an almost Bosco alumni, you would two star, two thumbs up recommend. Two thumbs up, four thumbs up actually. How how are you gonna? Yours or the other two? Well, I'm not gonna give two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you send your kids there? Oh yeah. Will you send your kids there? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it, it depends on where I'm living at the time. Where do you want to live? I don't know. I'd be fine living here, but like. Wherever. Well, here, here is, 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 is relative. Is it, like, here, here no, in this like beautiful, here. like... I'm fine living here. No, just, like, in Georgia, like, pretty close to where I grew up. Mm-hmm. I would be okay with that. Do you prefer countryside or city? I prefer the country. I had to drive through Atlanta the other day, and I was, like, not having it. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the scariest part for me about going to a concert is, like, the idea that I would have to drive through Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I have, like, a lot of friends going to Georgia Tech, and I just, like, I don't understand <laughs> the appeal at all. I just can't get on board with that. What are... Try your best to explain to me the different Georgia colleges, because there's, like, UNG, UGA, Georgia Tech. Uh, like, you just say them, and I'm like, yes, uh-huh, college in Georgia. Understood. Well, UGA is, like, the big one, obviously. University okay. of Georgia. Yeah, that makes and sense. And that's, like, what most people, like, want. You know, it's in Athens, so it's, like, college town, mm-hmm. big football team, all that. UNG, a lot of people go there if they don't get into Georgia. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, in Dahlonega, so it's in the mountains. Mm, interesting. And it has more of, like, a mountain hiking vibe. Culture. Georgia Tech is in the middle of Atlanta. And it's, like pretty hard to get in there mm-hmm. so it's more for like like pe- lots of people go there to study engineering it's like this most popular major because it's known as like really good engineering school and then GCSU is the other one a lot of people go to I don't really know a whole lot about that one but it's in Milledgeville I think and the it's... the question every adult asked you around this time <laughs> where are you gonna go <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Belmont Abbey College which is up in Charlotte, North Carolina. Ha. I know, it's so funny. <laughs> Every person, right? Every yeah. person oh, made the huh. joke. that's ironic. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's where I'm going. I have some... My aunt and uncle live up there. Oh, really? Yeah, you should go go visit them. You totally... That's totally how that works. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I can't remember the, the Carolinas. I always get them mixed up. Like North and South? Yeah. Well, because, like, one's on top and one's on bottom. Yeah. Oh. The one on top is the north one. I know. That's so cool. Like a leg-down bicycle. Uh, a guy just rode past <laughs> with a bicycle that you, like, lay down on. That's so neat. You've never seen that before? No. Oh, really? People do that around here a lot, and it's, like, so funny because you're, like, trying to pass them, but, like, you're also <laughs> laughing at them. It's just such a weird... <laughs> <laughs> weird. Would you ever get... Um, uh, uncommon mode of transportation, like, no. like, okay, let me, let me give you some options. You gotta, you gotta, I'll give you five options and you gotta rank them. Okay. okay. Um, so you got motorcycle, but not like the really handlebars biker mustache motorcycle, like, like the relax hippie. Not a like hipster, a hipster motorcycle. Do you get what I'm saying at like all? Like a moped? Any kind of motorcycle. Okay. Um, 
a a one wheel. Do you know what that is? There's one wheel, yes. and then you like put your feet on yes, it, and you know yeah, what yeah. Um, and then uh, the, 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 the car to um, plane car so that like it starts as a car but you can like drive it onto a runway and then oh, and then it goes like off a transformer. yeah they're they're really indie um really underground um how many was that three um, yeah uh and then one of those things <laughs> um and then a semi truck with no trailer but just a just semi truck a yeah the one wheel probably ranks at the bottom. I just feel like I wouldn't be able to ride that. Why not? Because you're so you're too uncoordinated for it. Oh yeah, you know me. <laughs> um, I think that bike might rank second. That's just like second to last. That's just okay. a lot of work. Uh huh. And to look stupid. And, um, <laughs> third would probably be the semi truck, just because I feel like that looks really dumb if there's not a trailer on it. And then the motorcycle, and then the car plane thing. That. You would you would want the car plane that thing the most? Cool. <laughs> yeah, but like for most of the like it doesn't do either one effectively. It's like it's You didn't say that. You said it turns into <laughs> from a car to a plane. Well they're real things. Like No. I think I can pull up if I it, wasn't no. using my phone as the camera, I would pull up a video of I'm it. I'm gonna go with the car plane. Okay. That works well. I would do shoot, I forgot the bench. Oh no. This is my picture of St. John Bosco. Oh. That makes sense. Jacob draws way better ones. <laughs> really? Yeah. I forget Jacob exists. See? Sure. I think I have a picture of one. He sent me one the other day. Like I think about the people in in I your class. Jacob exists. <laughs> and then just occasionally be like, oh right, the Pimbers are people oh, that shoot. exist. No, he just sent me. Never mind. He didn't send me one. Mm. Amateur. Yeah. What's your opinion on Snapchat and Instagram and social media in general? I. In general, I don't think it's awesome. Uh, I think you can use it well, mm -hmm. but I don't think you can use Snapchat well. I think the idea is very shallow, just like the concept of it. Like you're just sending people pictures instead of actual words. Like I don't understand how, like I don't understand what that's for. Like you might, like if you have something important to say, you're just gonna text them. So why do you just need to send random pictures of yourself all the time? I don't understand that one. Mm -hmm. And then Instagram, I have Instagram, and I think it's kind of nice to like keep up with people because mm -hmm. like as people graduate or as I like find my like friends that I used to have, it's kind of just like cool to see what they're doing, and also to just like keep up with the podcast you listen to. Yeah. At to interview them <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> and I don't know. It's also just kind of like cool to look back on like your own posts yeah. and see kind of like where you were. How embarrassing you were a year ago. Yeah. I've, I haven't even had Instagram for a year, so I haven't reached that point yet. But, mm. um, yeah. Other forms of social media, like Facebook, it's for moms. Yep. Keep up with Exclusively their moms. Exclusively moms, yeah. I don't know anyone young that has a Facebook <laughs> account that actually uses it. And then like Twitter is just like annoying. Like, I don't I don't know. I feel like nobody actually enjoys Twitter, but everybody has it. So yeah. I don't, I don't really understand that one either. Uh huh. And then. What about LinkedIn? LinkedIn is helpful to help you find jobs. Yeah. I have a LinkedIn account. Have you ever used it? Yeah. I used it to get hired at Chick Fil A. Really? Yeah. The first time. I just, I just made an Indeed account and then just applied at places. Is can you do that on LinkedIn too? I think so. Oh. You, or it like at least links you to their websites mm -hmm. to apply. That makes so much sense, cause the name. Yes. And I have people like ask to friend me, and I'm like, I don't like need friends on LinkedIn, but <laughs> yeah. Or like I friended Keenan, so now like anytime Keenan friends somebody, like sends me an alert that Keenan <laughs> friended them, and I'm like, I don't need to know every time Keenan friends someone, I don't know them. Uh huh. But yeah. Very valid. I don't know what other types of social media are there. I mean, that's the be real. I hate be real. I, okay, I think it's just a dumb, I think it's a good concept, right? That like 
you because social media is all about like oh it's like fake like you pose for the perfect picture mm -hmm. but if you just have to like stop and take a picture whenever then that's like more real right yeah but the problem is you can just like post it late yeah like, post it whenever you want that's <laughs> gay it should only be open <laughs> for the two minutes a day that it's open uh-huh right yeah because like if somebody's like oh be real enough but like i'm not doing anything cool right now i'm gonna wait yeah. then you're literally missing the point of being real mm -hmm. so i think it's dumb well, yeah, and it's also done because real people's lives are boring. Yeah. Like, if you're doing homework and it goes off, you're not going to be like, oh, shoot, let me go, like, run to, like, <laughs> hang out with my friend real quick so that I can, like, take pictures. Like, that's yeah. stupid. Yeah. Um, do you know what lock it is? No. It's, um, I'll show you after the break because it's on my phone. Oh, it's right on break time. We're going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. And we're back. Um, very good, good, solid, solid break. Lots of ads, lots of, um, you know, moving pictures, all that. Um, there are gonna be no ads, actually. It's just gonna cut straight to here, so. Um, who's your favorite sibling? I am not allowed to have a favorite sibling, but <laughs> <laughs> I love perfect start. I um not necessarily my favorite, you know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to like I can't pick a favorite cuz they're all so different. Yeah. But I think like in terms of like who I get along with the best, it's probably Jackson. Just really. Yeah. Why, Interesting. Why is that shocking? Cuz I mean the last I checked y'all weren't really close or I didn't think y'all were close. Uh. It's the last time you checked sophomore year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're just, since I'm about to be in college and he's in college, mm. we're very much like in kind of like the same state in life right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like he's been in college for quite a bit. So it's like he's like farther along. Yeah. But I feel like I understand him the best. Mm. And like when he comes home, it's always like a big party, you know? Uh -huh. Like a big reunion because we just like always have fun together. Cool. You know? Yeah. Um, who's the hardest to to take care of, to deal with? Um, I think Sutton. We just have Really? Yeah. We just have always had a hard time like getting along. And I think it's just because we're so different. Mm. Like basically name any attribute that I don't have <laughs> and she has it. Uh -huh. And then anything that I have, like she doesn't not anything, but you know, like She's very like outgoing and she always has to be like at parties and she is like like a people pleaser and she hates books. She hates books. And so it's just like sometimes hard for us to like find stuff that we have in common because like there isn't a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But it's been getting better recently. Nice. And I, I think that's that'll probably get better when you leave and come back yeah for, me too for college because there's some there's some magical that changes when you when your older sibling leaves and comes back from college because you're like whoa you're like oh you gotta um, you gotta uh, little right yeah it's just crawling around um yeah i think i had that with tristan a little bit tristan and i don't really talk uh, a lot um he's engaged actually oh really yeah they're gonna um Go get married in the the uh, Yellowstone, somewhere Ooh, in Yellowstone. That's so funny. Yeah. I forget about Tristan. I'm not gonna lie, but I've also never met him, so. Really? I mean, that actually doesn't. Is that funny. shocking? Yeah. <laughs> um. I, I totally forget that you live around Dawsonville now. Yeah. Like. Why? Cause, cause you're I. You're with the Bosco people. You're like 30 minutes away at. Yeah. The, I actually have never lived in Cumming. Well, yeah, but you're off exit 14, yeah. which is also, like, just as busy and super crazy. It is. It's busy down there. I, I went to pick up Jude the other day um, and from the Ferreters. I've never been to Matthew's house. Um, I mean, I feel like not many people probably have, but... Yeah, it's super mysterious. Um, but... Shockingly, he's not as, um, do you know where, you know where Creekstone is, the, the subject, obviously. Um, he's not as bougie, uh, bougie enough to live in Creekstone. Do they in live Creekstone. in Creekstone? Oh, I was going to say, um, do they live there? Well, so I, 
I got the address and it was in Creeks. It was like in the Bosco area. So I was like, okay, this makes sense. This is very reasonable. Um, so I start going there and then I get to the neighborhood and it's in Creekstone. And I was like, whoa. Matthew lives in Creekstone? Matthew lives in Creekstone? I didn't know. Um, and then I go up to the address that it says on Google Maps and it's straight up the completely different number that I put in. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Something's going on here. So I look back at the text message from from the ferreter's mom, and and um, it's all the way in exit fourteen instead of oh. exit thirteen. So I was like, <gasps> no. Is that a can? Yes, it's this can. Oh, <laughs> Lacroix. 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 Love it. Anyway. Um, and and. That's pretty much it. But I was like, wow. Wait, so how did you get to his house? <laughs> oh, I just drove there. I went oh. back to the address and I, I realized, because it was like trail road instead of trail drive, something oh. like that. Um, I was like, yeah, I don't, I really don't think that Matthew lives in Creekstone. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I would have known that. Probably. But that's funny. Oh. Do you ever take BuzzFeed uh, quizzes? I used to. I haven't in a long time. Uh, like which donut would you be, or um, what's your Hogwarts house? I'm a Ravenclaw. I'm a Slytherin. Really? Yeah. Maybe. That kind of makes sense. I'm a. I'm actually friends with a lot of Slytherins, which is kind of funny. Yeah. One of my best friends in like early high school and middle school was a Slytherin. Who was it? My friend Daniel. Daniel. From dance. He's like three years older than me. I totally forgot you did dance. Do you still do that? I only take tap. Mm, that's pretty useful, actually. And yes, our recital is this weekend, so oh, then really? I will not take tap anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna do sort of performing arts stuff when you in college? Yes, I'm going to Belmont Abbey because they have a good theater program mm. in terms of like Catholic schools, which I am excited for. I was kind of frustrated at with the plays at Bosco because because your mom is like the musical program is such a big part of it mm -hmm. they couldn't um, like for people like me who really enjoy acting but are not super great at singing yeah. you they don't really do a play they have to do a musical well were you in Shakespeare? Um, we briefly. had a Shakespeare class last year briefly oh um, yeah I did the Shakespeare workshop thing oh yeah that was fun yeah. I enjoyed that a lot you were in there too. Yeah. They got rid of that though. What? Yeah. Do they still have that. Now we do the class. Those sort of elective stuff. Yeah, like ACE and everything. Mm. Yeah, we had those. I went to a school called ACE. Really? Academy of Creative Education. Mm. That's I. Not the same. Not the same. Our stands for Advanced Choral Ensemble. Ah. Uh. We changed that though recently because it used to be Advanced Choral Prep, and then we were like, "What are we prepping for? We are the Advanced <laughs> Choir." <laughs> so <laughs> we we switched that up a little bit. Uh huh. How, is that if if there was one cl like clique who runs the school that runs the school, what do you what do you think it is? What do you mean, like what? Like what group of group of Ace? Ace. <laughs> I I don't know. Ace just has like it seems to have a lot of like the cooler people in it. Uh huh. Not that we really have popular kids at all, mm -hmm. but like the people that are, like for some reason like a lot of people that are good at sports are in Ace, which like that those is weird, are not isn't it? Yeah. At all. Like. But like some of the best singers are also like the best soccer players and like have good grades and like obviously it's not always that way but it just seems to work out that way a lot which mm -hmm. is just like super odd to me yeah because i'm like you being good at soccer has nothing to do with your ability <laughs> to sing but like somehow it like kind of does like yeah i wonder if you if you took a like it took a portion of the population and sort of ask them are you good at singing and are you good at soccer there would be a correlation i'm pretty sure there wouldn't be that just they, those two things don't seem related to me except when you're catholic and go to a hybrid school and then it's completely and then it's completely related yeah. you have to be good at singing to be good at soccer and vice versa did they add any new so sports this year um we have a golf team i don't know if that was around. Whoa. that was around last year i think but it wasn't very advertised it's like five people uh we also have a swim team hmm. i wonder who oh yeah that was last that was there yeah yeah but the soccer team, the soccer team is the main one in mm -hmm. basketball. Even though we're not very good at basketball, but it's there. 
Do you think sports is too prioritized? Not at our school. Because, like, you can basically play a sport if you, like, are even remotely interested in it. Mm. Like, you don't have to be good at the sport to play it. So I think that kind of helps them not be so focused on sports. Because, like, if you're not constantly winning, you're not going to, like, put all your eggs in that bone basket. Yeah. Which we're not constantly winning. Like, it's fun to win, and it's good when we do win, but it's not, like, our whole priority, which Mm -hmm. I think kind of helps... Helps them not take over. We also don't have a football team, which also tends to take over yeah. the most. I just got really frustrated with when people like you. The uniform is so important, right? So important until you play a sport and you can wear this super ugly hoodie over your uniform. That doesn't yeah. match at all with the uniform. <laughs> On game days, you can wear your jersey. So yeah. Don't worry. Even the white ones that are completely see-through. Uh-huh. Don't worry. You can wear them on game days. <laughs> I never wore the white one to school. It's just so see-through. Yeah. We also have to give them back. Like, they use the same ones every year. Really? Yeah, so we have to give them back. Uh Uh-huh. Because it's not that big of a school. No. Don't you have your names on? Not the, no, not the the jerseys. I mean, they have numbers on them. Uh, The numbers can change. uh Like, I thought they had names on them, though. Hmm. Huh. The basketball jerseys, I think, say Grey Wolves on the back. Mm. But that's not anyone's last name, so... Not yet. Not with that attitude. Not with any attitude, so. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, you go on the March for Life, right? Mm-hmm. The um, St. Augustine, Florida, and D.C. Yeah, a couple of DC. years. Um, what, what was your favorite uh, March for Life? Mm, honestly, freshman year in D.C. was great. I enjoyed that one. And then sophomore year in St. Augustine was great. Mm. I think... St. Augustine isn't, like, a huge place. So after sophomore year, we'd kind of, like, already done everything. Yeah. And so, like, going back was, like, fun. And, like, it was still a great experience. But we didn't necessarily have, like, more things to do. Mm -hmm. And so it was just kind of, like, the same trip three times. Which was fine. And, like, it was still amazing, obviously, and, like, impactful. But it wasn't, like, new. Because, like, in D.C., there's, like, so many museums that, like, you basically can, like, go all four years without ever going to the same one twice. Yeah. But in St. Augustine, there's, like, very limited things. St. Augustine is beautiful. I love it there. It's so pretty there, though. I made a vlog um, for the, the, the one last year. Oh, really? Yeah. But I showed it to my parents, and they were like, you could do this different, and you could do this different, and you mm. could do this different, and this one, and this one. And I was I like, parents do that. maybe I'll just archive that one. <laughs> yeah. It was, I was, so you remember Carl, my 89 Honda Accord? Yes. I was like, I we was, were talking about the car, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my brother Carl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a brother named Carl. Um, I know that. <laughs> uh... I was so scared coming home from the March for Life that when it snowed. Oh, yeah, because that car was not the he, best. He's not. He's the same age as Taylor Swift, and Taylor Swift is in much better shape than he is. So. Did you go see Taylor Swift when she came? Unfortunately, no. I'm, that, I'm not that much of a Swifty. Oh. But my, um, my, manager's, uh, my manager went to see it with her uh, daughters. Oh, that's fun. And my cousin Annalie went to see it. Um, so I guess I'll just hear about their experiences while listening to Taylor Swift, and it'll be just as good. It'll be the same. Yeah. Um, my cousin, uh, Mary Bragg, who's a musician, she's uh, playing um, at this place in Decatur mm-hmm. uh, on my birthday. Hmm. So we're going to go see that. It's fun. Your birthday's coming up. It is. It's next week. Are you, are you going to do something? Um, probably not. <laughs> no? I'm having a graduation party, mm. probably. And so that kind of trumps the, the birthday party. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I might just have some friends come over Yeah. on that day, but not like a party or anything, probably. Are you, you're not a party person? I'm not a party person, like, for myself. Mm. Like, I, parties that are about me stress me out. Uh-huh. Same. Like, I enjoy parties and, like, I always have fun, but it stresses me out when I feel like I have to, like, entertain everybody. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm not always a huge, huge fan of hosting. It's also annoying when both of your two older siblings are more entertaining than you are. And so at <laughs> your parties, it feels just like their parties that you're also there. Yes, your brothers are very entertaining. 
They are. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming Christopher's under my head, but... Not as entertaining. Ben is entertaining. Ben is entertaining. Glad we agree on that one. Yeah. Um, we're at 14 minutes. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about that we did not get to? Mm, I don't know. Do you have anything else? Not really. I think we covered pretty much all the bases. Um... Are there secret tunnels under Bosco that only you know about because your mom works no. in? No. We thought about putting some in, but then um, it wasn't in the budget. Mm-hmm. So that makes sense. We couldn't. Have you been on the roof ever? No, actually. How, how is that not a thing? Because you're... My siblings have. Coach took them up there one time, but I have never ventured into the boys' bathroom. <laughs> That's what the ladder is. I That's what the ladder is. I don't. That's really. <laughs> that's, that's an important piece of Everybody content. Everybody knows that's what the ladder is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, well, I've never been turned in here. That's about all the time we have on um, this episode. Uh, thank you for being on the show, coming out to this beautiful. I know it's, it's it's wonderful. It's incredible. Um, good luck, Charlie. <laughs>